And now let's tackle the physics of football. Here's your host, Newt Rockney. The perfect spiral pass. How is it possible for such a funny shaped ball to travel so far and yet be so accurate? Hi everyone, I'm Newt Rockney. And in this episode, we'll break down the physics of the forward pass. When a quarterback launches a deep pass, a bomb into the air, it follows a curved parabolic path. As the ball climbs skyward, it battles its own foe of sorts, gravity, which slows it down. As it reaches its peak height, it stops for a very brief instant, and then the ball begins to come down. Gravity is pushing it as it accelerates downward. Now you're probably asking, Newt, why does a football have laces? Well, the laces allow the quarterback to get a grip so that they can spin the ball as they release it. The spin is the key. Most oblong objects become unstable and tumble end over end when thrown. But with a football, the spin, which gives us the spiral, gives the football a motion like that of a gyroscope, which keeps it pointed in the same direction with the ball's pointed end leading the way. How do you get that tight spiral? Well, the harder the ball is thrown, the more torque is applied as it leaves the hand. So it spins faster, leaving it more stabilized so you can have a tighter spiral. And you know what else? That tighter spiral, spinning about 400 to 600 RPMs, cuts through the air, reducing drag from the air and actually achieves the same lift that keeps airplanes in the air. Sure, it's not as great with a football, but it does help the ball hang in the air longer. A wobbly pass presents more surface to the wind, causing more drag. So you have a ball that doesn't travel as far and probably won't reach its intended target. Well, it's fourth down. It's time to punt. So let's kick that top ground next time. For the physics of football, I'm Dude Rockney. <laughs>